In the previous video, I posed the question, why do professionals, club level players, pretty much everybody, lose more points on their second serve versus their first serve? And I eliminated two things that you couldn't use as your answer. First serves obviously have more pace and better placement, so you're going to win more points because of those two factors versus the second serve, which is hit with less pace, placement is a little bit more conservative. Well, I was very impressed by the responses that we got. We got over 170 responses, and the depth of thought that a lot of people put into their answers was very impressive. Now, a lot of people addressed how the court positioning of the returner, here's the returner, changes on a first serve to a second serve. Now, before we talk about that, just a reminder, these icons have been confusing a lot of people. The circle is the player him or herself, and the stick is the side that they're hitting on. So over here would be right-handed. It would be like this, a righty, and obviously if you reverse it, now it's a backhand for a right-hander. So getting back to the question, well, on a first serve maybe the player's here, but then on a second serve they move up. So their court positioning is better. They're taking time away from their opponent. A lot of people made some reference to that, and that's absolutely correct. But what I didn't hear, I heard this, the, the person who addressed this the clearest and the person who won, someone named Kevin, answered 29, what he said was that the court dynamics, the court positioning dynamics switch from a first serve to a second serve, and that's basically what I was looking for. When you have a player hitting a first serve, this player cracks a first serve, and what happens is, the returner is likely going to hit a mediocre to poor reply. So let's get rid of the serve. Here's the return. Well, on the professional level and on the club level, you're either landing on the baseline or inside the baseline after your serve. So you're in great position now to hit a backhand or run around this hit a forehand to the open court, you're in control of the point, you're inside the baseline, and you have a weak shot. That's awesome. That's exactly what you want. And the returner is probably further behind the baseline. So that's great. So that's why, that's one of the main reasons that you win a bunch of points on your first serve, even when you don't hit a, a winner or your opponent makes an error. Your position, again, your positioning is great. You can attack the ball. Well, second serve situation is now different. Returner's inside or maybe on the baseline, maybe a little bit behind. Well, server hits second serve, and then the returner now hits a better shot. Can't attack it. Well, court positioning is the same. You're on or inside the baseline. This is not the natural rally depth for pretty much any player. Most players hover behind the baseline somewhere, Maybe if you're Nadal, you're way back there. But they like to be a couple feet, maybe more, behind the baseline. So if you're inside the baseline and you get a tough return, now you might be digging that thing off your shoes. Or if the return is placed better, it's tough to move out to these balls and get there in time. So that's what Kevin said that I didn't really hear from the other responses. What he said was that the player would hit a return and then have to retreat which is absolutely right. And to see how this puts you at a disadvantage, in a previous video I talked about how Federer in the French Open hit drop shots off Jose Acasuso's second serve. And the reason that worked is because Acasuso would land here and then be retreating, so he's moving back, drop shots here, so he has to stop and then close on the ball. So what Federer did there was really exploit Akasuso's court positioning, and again, that goes back to Kevin, that's what he said, the dynamics have been reversed. Court positioning is great on a first serve because you get a weak return. Second serve, not so good. Now you're here, better shot, not your natural rally depth. So again, Kevin wins the autograph, Andy Roddick's autograph, courtesy of Tennis Express. But despite that, again, to go back, the comments I thought were great. Everybody mentioned a bunch of really interesting stuff that were certainly valid and accurate responses. So I was very impressed. Definitely going to do this again because it was a pleasure reading through all the comments. 
one person I do want to highlight, uh, a number of people mentioned this, but Rob was the first one to, 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 to bring this up. It's something I hadn't thought about. If, <clears throat> excuse me, if Roddick had hit first serves on his second serve at the same percentage, 70%, he actually would have won four more points on his total service points out of that, out of that 100. So he would have won 75 versus the 71 that he ended up winning in the match. I thought that was an interesting and a, and, a, and a great find. So congratulations to Rob and everybody else who pointed that out.